Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are again. Thinkering Thursdays, all season adventures. Got to start up by saying uh, I started to work again this week, so uh, still plan. Uh, the weekend videos are definite. Still going camping every Sunday. I'm not stopping that, or every weekend, I should say. But the Tinkering Thursdays, I'm gonna try my hardest to keep uh, bringing you guys a video every Thursday. Could be a little bit harder, but uh, let me like that. Even if uh, I just do two or three things, if it's a five, six minute video, my goal is to still give you uh, guys a video on the Jeep build, and that's gonna keep motivating me though. Actually, these videos, the fact that I gotta keep posting a video on Thursday tells me, hey, I gotta get up my ass and get some work doing done on the Jeep. Whether it's just uh, one or two things or five or six things, even if it's just one thing. I'm going to try to give you guys a video on it, so anyhow, for this episode, the plan is not much, not much, like I say, just bit by bit we'll get there. Plan on uh, draining the oil out of the rear diff, and uh, hopefully this, we got a different drain pan, so hopefully we don't make any messes, and we'd like to get that done, and paint that rear diff cover, and then also want to remove the alternator and polish all that up and put it shiny and hopefully we get to putting it back in and then another thing I'd like to do is uh, now we got everything off the frame it is perfect time just got a big uh, big old five gallon bucket here of undercoating so now that we got access to everything the plan is to spray some undercoating in all of the Oh yeah, all these frame holes, get some in that way, that way, every single direction that we can. So anyhow, without further ado, let's get that intro going and let's get to work. Cheers. We need a miracle! clear. can see we got a pretty alternator so I figured might as well tape it up and well just did all the grinded all the rust off that pulley but uh taped her all up might as well since we're in a painting mood might as well put some paint on this pulley too so let's get her done and of course can't forget our clear
it's not going to dry before I torque it, but uh, while we're working out here, we got uh, military choppers flying around to uh, say thank you to the hospital and whatever you know, I guess. Let's see if we can get them. Later choppers, uh, knock on wood, let's hope they have better luck with the uh, rest of our military aircraft we've been having lately with the uh, chopper overseas that crashed and uh, snowbirds out west, so yeah, let's hope these have better luck than that, so anyhow, let's get back to work, cheers. Okay, so now we got that all torque to specs. We're gonna give that about 24 hours-ish to dry, and then be able to top that with fluid. And right after we do that, we will uh, do a sand, uh, do all our under undercoating inside this frame. Okay, well, we got our alternator all shined up. We'll put that back in place after we clean that area because it's pretty dirty, and we might remove some brackets next week and start cleaning those up too. Uh, Got our rear diff cover all painted up. One thing left to do, and that is start undercoating inside the frame. And then once after we get that done, then we can start editing editing this video and get it all ready for you guys tomorrow. Or right now if you guys are watching it. Guess we got uh, all of our inside the frame all undercoated. Not gonna lie, that's not the last of the undercoating. Once this is all together, or even before putting body on, I'll probably undercoat all the frame on top, drop the body on. Then we're gonna undercoat the frame under the frame like crazy. Like that. Being in uh, Canada, A, eh? yeah, I'm gonna make sure there's lots of vehicle rust around here. So we're gonna try to spray the towel out of this uh, frame here, make sure it doesn't rust. So, uh, anyhow, uh, I know we didn't get tons accomplished this episode, but uh, just going to keep giving you guys bit by bit, keeping you guys involved with the process, and uh, by the time this is done, trust me, we'll have more sequels than Fast and the Furious and Friday the 13th all combined, so again, I just want to thank all you guys for following me on this uh, Jeep restoration, Jurassic Park Jeep restoration, because it's definitely my first time doing a pretty much almost, I'd say, pretty close to frame-up restoration, so... And yeah, hopefully next week I get my shocks and brakes and can start putting some new parts on. But uh, one thing, uh, one thing or another, we will have some more content for you guys next Thursday. We will keep working on this thing. So again, thanks for following me and supporting me. Uh, feel free to smash that like button, uh, share, subscribe with your friends. Please comment down below. I love reading your comments. Until ne next time, remember to live everybody and cheers.